Adonis Creed has been defined by boxing his entire life. But is boxing all Adonis is? How do you raise the bar for the man that we've gotten to know throughout Creed 1 and Creed 2 and really take his franchise to the next level? Going into Creed 3, Adonis is a father, a husband, a better man, but there's secrets from his past his family doesn't know. Hey, my man, can I help you? You don't remember me, huh? Damien. Mike wanted to tell a story that honored the legacy of Rocky, but was different. And a big part of that was introducing Damien Anderson. How long were you locked up? 18 years, bro. I know I've been away a long time, but I still got gas in the tank. Come by the gym. Thank you. Adonis and Damien have a real past. They grew up as children together in a really tough environment. I'm curious what happened with you two. We was like brothers. I was the best, though. Man, I never got a chance to prove that. And they shared this boxing dream together. So imagine what happens when you have to watch someone live that dream without you. It can breed resentment. Damien was like family. Hey, hey, what you, what you doing, man? Now we pass talking. Then maybe you just have to find him. Do what I gotta do. Some of my methods, you might disagree with me. I had a clear vision of what I wanted this story to be. I grew up with Adonis Creed, so this opportunity to direct their installment is so personal to me. Getting to see Mike approach directing in an almost athletic way was incredible to watch. Good. Working with Mike was a real collaboration. And when you feel that trust, it's the best gift an actor can have. Damien's fighting the world, and he's trying to hurt people. This is a movie that lends itself to that big screen experience. Fights, the action, you want to see that up close and personal. I'm coming for everything. You threatening me? It's all on the line here. I ain't scared of death. What you gonna do? Threaten to take my breath? All roads led up to this moment, and we need to see what happens next.